Yummy and delicious bacon. What's up, you guys? This is the Shadow Cave, and welcome to how to build an igloo part one of my tutorial. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done any of my tutorials, but uh, feel free to check out my previous tutorials to know how to build other things. But uh, yeah, let me just turn around here. There we go. All right, so this is the igloo. Who is messaging me right now? Okay, so here's the igloo that we're going to be building, and this is what it looks like. Um, you can also check out the trailer, which I'll also put a link in the description, or you can click on the annotation. And uh, you're going to be building all these neat little tricks and all these uh, rooms, everything that you see here. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff, but uh, you know what? Let's get started, shall we? And over here, if you uncover the snow, this is where the TNT is. Um, at the end of the trailer, you can see that I exploded or like decimated the entire igloo. And uh, yeah, this is... Whoa, you better not step on that, because if you step on that, that will trigger all of the TNT and it will all go off. And uh, yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> but without further ado, this is the diagram that we're going to be using to create our circle in Minecraft. The link will be in the description. Um, I set the radius as 16. So you can go ahead and check that out to make a circle, but I'll also put the template there for you guys to see. So firstly, we're going to put eight blocks across on the top here, and then uh, pretty much follow what I'm doing. I've already made the template before I started recording this video, just so it makes everything uh, a little bit easier on me, so I don't waste too much time. But yeah, like, man, I'm back in the groove again. <laughs> I know you guys have been anxious and eager uh, to build this tutorial. But yeah, this is what the first quarter looks like so far. And then we're just going to go ahead and place three blocks, one diagonal, another diagonal, two. And if you want, guys, just feel free to pause the video and um, just, you know, because I think I'm pretty, I'm going pretty fast here, so you can just pause the video and uh, just backtrack if you'd like. Alright, so this is the first half of the circle as you can see it lines up with the bottom to the top and same with the other side there it lines up perfectly and then go ahead and finish the second half of the circle I am going to be speeding up parts of this video as the whole building process takes a very long time to do it's a uh, it's a big project, so if you guys have nothing else to do, you can go ahead and start building this if you'd like. Here we go, and then three blocks, three, one diagonal there. But yeah, in this episode, I'm gonna be focusing on building the base of the igloo, as well as cl completing the outside, the exterior, and uh, work on the entrance. So, that is a very beautiful sunset over there. I am way too distracted right now. <laughs> time to set the time back to 500. Bye-bye, sunset. Okay, so now once you have the outline of the igloo, so what you're going to do is you're going to start anywhere, but I'm going to start here at this block. I'm going to put place a block down, put one on top, delete uh, the one underneath, and then just continue going around the perimeter of the entire igloo. But every, every time you see a corner like that, delete that block because we don't need that and it's just excessive. And you can also use uh, ice if you want, but uh, you can just easily see through it. So I don't know if you guys want a little bit of privacy in your igloo, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to be using snow. But you guys can use whatever you want though. Like, let your imagination go wild because this game is very creative and you know it doesn't take much to just start a new idea okay guys so this is what my third layer looks like as you can see we're getting closer to the top so far it's looking quite nice again I'm gonna put a block in the bottom delete that one and just continue right around the edge 
all the way up to the top. I, if you guys want, you can use the template that's given on the internet. But you know what? Since it's not a perfect half of a sphere, like it's just it's a natural igloo. That's what I want it to look like is a natural igloo, man-made. <laughs> None of this uh, perfectness here. No one's perfect. Unless you guys are perfect people, but I highly doubt that. <laughs> okay, so as we get near the top, it's going to start to square out. So then what you're going to do is that uh, I'm just going to close this uh, top part a little bit more in. Because I think it's too... It's just way too open for me, so I'm just going to close it up a little bit more. There we go. And then you can just delete some block. Whoops, sorry, my bad. And uh, probably going to do one more layer. And then after this layer, I'm going to add glass on top to make it to make our uh, little skylight so that sun can go in from the top so it isn't too dark inside. We want some of the natural light. Plus, uh, you know what? I'm trying to be realistic here, and since heat rises up, it won't uh, melt the igloo. <laughs> okay, so you can use ice as well to uh, finish that, but again, I'm not going to be using ice. I'm going to be using glass to cover the top part up. Don't need this. Beautiful. You can also use, I think you can use the other type of glass, but I don't think it's going to work as well as uh, we want it to. Okay, time to go through this hole. That's what she said. Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> Little bits of uh, snow trying to creep in there. Okay. So now, since we finished, I'm just going to go ahead and light up. Whoa, what's going on here? Light up everything so that we are able to see what we're doing inside the igloo. Again, these torches can be... Um, I'm just, they're just temporarily on the walls. I'm going to be moving them later. But uh, the floors, I'm going to dig two blocks down. And then I'm going to clear everything. Like, I'm just going to get rid of every single thing. Like, all the way to the uh, perimeter of the igloo. Because we don't need all of this. And the reason being is that we're going to be placing the TNT on the bottom layer. And then I'm also going to be placing snow on the top layer. But you guys can do it whatever way you want. You can even go one more layer deeper and put more TNT. But uh, I think this is uh, sufficient to have one layer of TNT to blow everything up. Okay, perfect. Now the TNT part, which is my favorite part. And I'll show you guys how to wire the TNT. So if when you step on the pressure plate, all of it will activate at once. But uh, yeah... Oh, I didn't tell you guys, there's also, uh, there's going to be a secret, see I was just showing here that uh, you can also add another layer, but um, there's also a secret tunneling system with this tutorial that I did not show, or I don't think I didn't show it in the trailer, but uh, that's where the emergency exit is going to be. Because once everything blows up, it's going to kill you, like it makes a massive creator in the ground. So this igloo is pretty much like my bunker, my emergency backup, my last resort, you know. This is perfect idea. This is a really good idea for the Hunger Games, you know. It would be pretty sick. Or anything. You can use it as a trap. You can use this as pretty much anything. Okay, so we're just going to cover this J up. There we go. Look like the leather J there. So now once you have the TNT down, just go ahead and place the snow blocks on top of that. You can also use ice again, but um, I don't know, it looks sketchy and you can see the TNT right through it. But oh yeah, I won't be using ice. Just snow blocks is uh, sufficient. But yeah, for my next idea for my building tutorials, um, I have no idea what I'm going to build. I was thinking maybe a type of castle. I've done a sand castle before, but hmm, it was it took a long time to make and to show you guys how I made it. 
And these things, I don't really come up out of the blue. I, I, I spend a lot of time planning these tutorials. A lot of time and work. Okay, so we're almost done with the floor here. So after this, we're going to work on our main entrance. Where the switch is going to be, uh, where the switch for the lights are going to be uh, located, and uh, just paintings and stuff like that, just to make it look like it's a natural, you know, it's an innocent igloo, but in all reality, it isn't. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So yeah, I'm just going to escape from the little hole there, and it's starting to look a lot like an igloo okay this is where you put our main entrance you can use all the other sides if you want but I'm just gonna use uh, this side for our main entrance you can extend it to whatever length you want in the trailer uh, igloo I've I think that I do believe that the entrance is smaller than this but you know whatever go nuts nothing stopping you right we're gonna make this about four blocks high. There should be enough room to move around and and whatnot. Jeez, I'm having uh, some technical difficulties here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Add another layer. That is perfect. How many blocks have I done there? Four? That's perfect. Okay, so now the roof, we're just going to cover all this up. So we can have a roof. There's also, uh, if you guys want more ideas, you can also extend this as, um, instead of the main entrance, you can use this as tunnels to other places if you want. You can use this as pretty much anything, really. Okay, so there's our entrance. Um, you can make it look better by removing this part. I, I, I have no idea why I didn't do that in the beginning, but uh, it just makes it look like it's, you know, better. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna create double doors. I haven't created double doors in my trailer, but I will for this one. Okay, there's the entrance, voila. So you can use either wooden doors or you can use iron doors, but uh, I like the wooden door, so I'm just going to use that. Oh, you have to remove the top layer of the snow in order to do that, but first I'm just going to remove the dirt blocks and replace them with snow blocks just to make it look uh, a little bit better. And there you have it. Uh, there's going to be, later on in the series, I'm going to be putting traps all over the place. But for now, we're just going to continue and uh, focus on the inside here. So remove all of that stuff. Okay. Perfect. So there's your entrance. So uh, I'm just going to make this igloo a little bit more welcoming or look a little bit better by adding, um, as you can see around the place, you know, like it doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to place some snow blocks underneath these areas right here. Just to cover it up a little bit more. So you can fill it in. So it doesn't look too staggered. Whoops, my bad. Just fill up all these little gaps and holes around the uh, perimeter of the igloo. There we go. So we have more space, more wall space, and I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fast motion. If only in real life I can do this. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Voila! Alright guys, so uh, thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for part two of how to build an igloo. We're going to be building the inside and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And